Okay, cellos, this is our training video for Cashmere, okay, the Pow Wow, 2013 Pow Wow here at Tecumseh. Now, let's take a look at some of these patterns we got going here in this music. We are in the key of D major. First thing we always look at is the key signature, the key of D major, okay? Just make sure I have this camera all set here for you, too. All right, now, uh, the first four lines, there's a lot of things that look very similar here. Actually, the first three lines, okay? And we have a pattern, all right? So you want to look for patterns. So the first thing is, we have this nice low D, one of my favorite notes on the cello. That's oh, a cool note. All right. Now, you also are starting up here, so I block this D down, okay? Just keep it right there. So you're going to have ba 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 Ba, 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 ba. Now I feel like a drummer when I'm playing this. Okay, I'm just cutting a groove. Plus, I've got I've got a rhythm thing going here. Okay, that's just going to help the rest of the orchestra just rock this out. Yet to ta, yet to ta, 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 da, da, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da, da. Okay, all right, sweet. All right, there's that D. Oh, I like that note. All right, so here we go. One E N. And a ready go. Lift. Lift. Rest. Now you notice I'm pulling my bow. I'm lifting after every rest. Okay, so that I can stay right up here by the frog and play with a lot. Okay, let me move this camera a little further down so you can get a hopefully you can get a view of this. So you can see and and I can get right down there, rest, rest, and, and I keep doing that clear to 13, okay, well, it's pretty easy, it sounds really cool. Alright, now let's go at 13, let's look at this new melody here that we have on this whole line. It goes 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and a 1 and 3. One and two, three and four, rest. Three, four, one and two, three and four, and okay. All right, that's kind of a nice thing to play there. Nice leg to play. Look at nineteen. Okay, so nineteen, we've got a couple notes here. Double stop. Okay, so we could put one there. Now you're probably going to find that, wow, my finger may not even be able to reach between this D and this A. Well, just kind of lay that down a little bit, sort of like those guitar guys like to do. Oh, that's a neat sound. Okay, so we're going to kind of do a little power chord on cellos here. All right, all right, guitar guys don't have all the fun. Ooh, that's kind of a nice sound. All right, so here we go, 19. Oh, one. second finger over, being a wimpy violin guy, okay, I like to bring this finger over to kind of just give this a little bit of extra strength, so I've got a nice stop, nice strong stop on both those strings, okay, you real cello guys can probably do that on your own, but I'm a wimpy violin guy, so I like to have a little extra support there, okay, now at 23, wait a minute, this looks, this looks familiar, okay, we've already done that like we did at the top, okay, we're moving on down, 37, Whoa, wait a minute, we just did that too. All right, so you've got two sections here that look exactly the same. Okay, so be careful. If you look at that, you probably go, I've already learned this whole first page, and I haven't done much. Bingo. All right, now let's go down to measure 44. Okay, measure 44 looks nasty. It's what you've been hearing those violins play, and you've been wanting to do it. Well, this is our chance, jealous. So it goes, yum, bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm going to slow that down just a little bit. Let's try that again. That's not so hard. Ready? And... Alright, no problem. Now, let's go over there to 45. 45, we have this rhythm. Two. Three, 
four, two, hearing some of these in this track you're probably hearing those guitars slide that thing down and you're going man I wish I could have some fun like that well if we go over to here we can get this A in fourth position right we don't have to go over here because you can't slide an open A that didn't work okay but if I go over to here whoa now that's kind of like what I'm wanting to do all right, so let's take a look at this. At 45, we're here to slow motion, come up here to thumb in the crook, okay? And coming on, and you got to land on that A, okay? So you're sliding one. Ah, there we go. All right, and then you're back to... Kind of liking that. Now, 65, we could do the whole thing like the violins get. We could actually get in on this melody rhythm thing here. Ba, 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 ta, de, ta, da, 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 da. I really don't work on the counting here and the numbers because the numbers get really confusing. So I think if you just listen to the rhythm, okay, and say it like that, you can process it quicker. At least I can. Okay, so here's 65. One, ba, ba. Coles that double stop. All right, now we're at 70 now. We got a new rhythm, we got double stops again. Open G and D. All right, that's no problem. Then we've got an A and an E coming up. All right, so here we go 70. Ready? And one, two. sounds like I just did this. Bingo, you just did. Okay, so we're going to toggle this four measure pattern. We're going to do it one, two, three, four, five times. Same thing. Five times. Hmm. Okay, and we're going to be lifting that bow to get us some power. Okay, so we don't get out here going... Let's go to 89. 89, wait a minute, this just looks just like the very beginning. It is. Okay. Two. Three. 